So if you've purchased the shortcut buttons USB hub from YesLack, you know that it comes pre-programmed with six actions. What you may not know though, is that it's actually customizable. YesLack is working on an app that will make it easy to customize these programs. But in the meantime, you can actually customize them now through a program within WeChat. I'm here to show you how to do that. The first thing you're gonna do is download WeChat if you don't already have it on your phone. And once you download it and open it, you will then hit the scan button. I provided you with a QR code that will allow you to find the mini program within WeChat. Otherwise, it's almost impossible to find. So you're gonna hit scan, it brings up your phone, and this is the app. It immediately finds it. What this is actually, this whole program is in Chinese, so it makes it a little challenging, but I'm gonna help walk you through it. So what this basically says is you're gonna scan for your equipment. So you're gonna press this button, which, go ahead, which basically starts it scanning and then it finds your equipment. And you'll know it's yours because really it's only gonna locate these items. It's not gonna connect to anything else via Bluetooth. So you go ahead and click this button to join it. The first time you connect the WeChat program to your hub, you'll be prompted to enter a passcode on this screen. You simply enter any eight digit numeric passcode and then press the blue button to continue. You won't be prompted for this passcode during future logins, but it's always a good idea to remember the passcode. It'll take a few minutes, so don't be alarmed if it takes some time. And this is basically downloading information from the hub to the mini program within WeChat. The first time you're doing this, it's actually going to go through a process where it updates the software. So it may take a little time to do that, you're going to allow it to go through that process and update. You're then going to exit fully out of WeChat. So you would go ahead and close WeChat and connect the same way again. Once you've already found the program once, if you go to Discover and go to Mini Programs, it'll find your recently used programs. You can also pin it to your programs. So you'll open it again. You'll say Scan. Never had this pop up before, but, and then you'll go ahead and connect to your device again. It'll take a little time to connect. And the first thing you're gonna to need to do, and it's important to do this, is to reset it to factory settings. And so this green button here actually resets it to factory settings. I'll also include some screen captures that show this translated into English. So you're gonna go ahead and click this green button and you can see this uh, button on the right is in blue, which basically is confirm and the other one is cancel. So you're gonna go ahead and confirm and it's gonna take some time and it's gonna go ahead and reset everything to its factory settings. And so now you'll see settings that you're used to. So each of these areas represents the three buttons in your car. So if you've been using this, you'll know that the left button, when you double click, heats the battery. And you can, even though you can't read the Chinese, probably, you can see from the symbol that that's the battery heating symbol. And then this is the long click button, which folds the mirrors. And then if you go to the middle button, you can see that the double click is for the lights and the long click is for your glove box. And on the far right button, the double click is for your passenger front door and the long hold is for your rear passenger door. So the other cool thing is when you program it, there's actually a third function where you can do a single click. When it, by default, the third click, uh, the, the single click is not programmed in but you can actually add that. So you can really have now nine functions programmed in. So let's start with our functions on the far left button. I don't find the battery heating or the mirror folding to be particularly helpful. So let's go ahead and replace those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the leftmost button. And what we wanna do is replace battery heating with another function. And you can scroll down here 
And again, they're in Chinese, but you can also, from the pictures, pretty much tell what they are. So I think it would be really cool to double click that far left button and have it open my trunk. So I'm just gonna grab the trunk button and I'm gonna drag it up here and replace the heat battery heating function. And it takes a second, there's a little delay, but now you can see that the trunk function is right there. And instead of um, folding my mirrors when I long hold the left button, I want it to open my frunk. So let's drag the frunk button up there. We drag it. See, it takes a second to replace, but now it's showing that when the far left button is selected, double clicking will open the trunk and long hold will open the frunk. So let's give it a try and see if that actually works. So we're gonna double click the left button and see what happens. And there we go. My trunk just opened. You wanna double click it again? Like magic, my trunk closes. And then let's long hold the left button and see if my frunk opens. And there we go, the frunk's open. So this is a quick and dirty of how you reprogram these. Let's also look at the button on the, on the right-hand side that opens the doors. Now let's assume that I want to also add a button to open my left rear door. And I wanna do that with a single click. So we'll scroll over to our door buttons. And you can tell from the pictures, it's really subtle, but you can kind of see which door it is. So you can see here, if you look really closely, that it's the left rear door. That's the left front door, and that's the left rear door. So let's drag the left rear door up to the single click button. So it took a second, it replaced it, and now let's see if that works. So we're gonna use our left button and we're gonna do a single press. Sorry, our right button and do a single press. And voila, our left rear door is open. So you now know how to customize it. Once you're done customizing your buttons, you just simply exit the program, close WeChat, and you're good to go. Hopefully that's helpful.